bollocks. Right. <coughs> Try again. I'm Neil, welcome to another edition of Phase Drive Vlogs, and today we're looking at flanges. Lots of swooshy goodness. Yeah. So before I start, just a quick reminder to um, subscribe and turn your notifications on. We do at least once a week on camera kit, film stuff, gear and kit, music, production, home cinema, all sorts of interesting stuff. So put your notifications on and get that sweet content straight into your inbox. Anyway, today we are looking at uh, various flanges and we're doing a pedal versus SIM test again. Um, the reason for the headphones is just so that I can actually hear what's going into the computer properly and not have to sort of listen to it again and comment later um, and you know get a more accurate representation of what, what's being recorded. It doesn't really kind of come across quite as well on the monitors. So forgive me looking like you know I'm just coming out of the studio. Um, but anyway... Um, so on the intro there, you just heard the current model Deluxe Electric Mistress Flanger by Electronics in stereo, and that sets it apart from the other two models we're testing. One is the Mua E-Lady, which is kind of a clone of the early version of the Electric Mistress Flanger, which I did have a copy of way back when it got released, um, but sold it. That's the topic of another vlog, pedals we've sold. I won't go into the story now, but um, if you're interested in all that vintage stuff and taking a bit of a trip down memory lane, it's worth having a look at. Links will be in the comments, but we've also got this SK Note sim of the original, and you know, it's really to compare to the current Electric Mistress and the E Lady. So, we'll see how they sound. So, first, I'll just quick run through of what we're running. We have got Fuse Audio Labs marvelous F59 amp sim, one of my favorite amp sims. I just love the tone of this thing, it's really good. Uh, and we're running out through. Mix IR3 by Redwires as the cab loader, and the cab is a Dr. Bonkers Dirty Shirley, lovely name for a cab, um, which is a, basically a one, I think it's a one by 12 sim, and we're using one of the Hyper Real PZM cab mixes because they just sound so good. So, um, details on the screen of exactly which cab it is, but you know, that can give you an idea of our setup. We are running a little bit of compression sends on the vocals and guitar and a compressor on the out. No EQ on the guitar and a bit of saturation, so waves and less on the, on the output channels. Um, but that's pretty much it. So it's nothing to really kind of affect the tone too much. So let's kick off with the e lady so you've just heard in the intro piece the um Electromonics deluxe which i'm kind of leaning towards a favorite it's got a, a really big kind of uh, expansive sound stage because it's stereo and i quite like that um but let's have a quick look so this is the the e lady so i've got my trusty deluxe nashville telly and i've got it set in the in-between position on the middle and bridge pickup just to give that kind of a bit of a strutty tone um, anyway, just a quick pause for some weapons grade. Oh, I need it. Oh, yeah. Right, now I'm ready. Um, so let's have a quick listen. <laughs> Let's just turn me up a bit so I can get a bit more 
coming through. That's to me, that sounds a bit more like the original Metric Mistress. The deluxe is a little bit smoother and a little bit more kind of um you know warm. And that's got a little bit more of that kind of edge to it, which I quite like. Um let's have a quick look. So that was the E lady. Let's have a quick look at the SK note. So we switch that in. To me, sounds very much like the E Lady, or kind of halfway between the E Lady and the Deluxe. So let's go back to the E Lady for a little bit. Yeah, that's got a bit more kind of that metallic swoosh to it. Let's just go back to the Deluxe. Yeah, big difference in the sound stage there. You can really tell it's stereo, it's really kind of popping out, and I really love that sound. Um, so let's just try them on the other pickup combination. So now we've got the um, neck and the middle pickup. Let's just see what, how they sound. So first up, the, um, the good old Deluxe Electric Mistress. Let's, let's have a different riff. nice kind of warm tone to it and that big expansive sound stage it creates is just lovely it's not i don't think it's quite as kind of gritty and a and a little bit kind of edgy like the original like the e-lady is more kind of, sort of um geared towards but i just love that sound it's, it's really good lovely and the fact that it creates that big sound stage is is really a real plus point i think anyway let's have a look at the the E lady again. Definitely got that kind of metallic, slightly sort of whiny swoosh going through it, um, which is something I remember from the original. So it's in that way, it's quite true, I think, to the original uh, electric message. So let's just switch in the back in the SK note and just have a listen to that. <laughs> Somewhere between the Deluxe and the E Lady, it's got a little bit more warmth than the E Lady. hasn't got quite that metallic kind of sort of um, edge to it, that swoosh. Um, but yeah, pretty good for a pedal, and it's got uh, you know good level, so it's you know coming across sort of nice and full in in the, in the headphones. Um, so yeah, nice. Um, yeah, which one would I pick? Um, I think the SK note for a piece of software is really good. It's got a really kind of good, slightly slightly richer sound. I think if you tweak the colour up a bit, you can get a bit more edgy out of it. Let's just try that, actually. <laughs> Yeah, 
yeah, that's starting to sound more um, like the Deluxe. It's got, you know, it hasn't got the quite the, the sort of um, wide sound stage that the Deluxe has, but it's starting to have that kind of slightly warm tone. So quite impressive piece of software. If I had to pick one, I think I'd still go with the Deluxe because it's just got, I mean, through an amp, through a, a sort of real valve amp, it just sounds great. It's got warmth to it. It's got plenty of width if you want to run it in stereo um, and something about the tone. Um, but the SK Note plugin is really good, really close. So very impressed with that. Um, so that's pretty much it for the flanges. We're only looking at three flanges today. Uh, we have also got this little beauty here, which is an original MXR flanger, uh, which I love. Uh, and what we're probably going to do is compare that at some future point. I was thinking of bringing it into this one, but I thought, well, let's stick to the Electron Monitor clones and, and sort of go with that. But what we'll do is, is look at that compared to an Arturia, I think it's a BL20 flanger plugin we've got, um, and see, you know, what, what the difference is, what, what we can get out of both of them. Um, so that's one for another time. Um, but, yeah, I think on, on those, I think it's quite an interesting comparison. I think the E-Lady's got a very characterful sound. It's got its own kind of metallic kind of swooshiness to it, which I really like. I think if you want that sound, it's ideal. Um, and as a clone that's less than half the price of the Deluxe, it's, you know, pretty good value. Um, but the SK is really impressive. I mean, you know, as a, as a, as a clone of the Atric Mysteries and just a good sort of flanger plug-in sort of all out, it's... You know, it produces a really good tone. It's not, it hasn't got masses of flexibility, but it does have a really good sound. So, ching. Anyway, um, anyway, that's about it on the uh, the flanger front. So this is a, a very quick, short one. I'm not going to sort of uh, pad it out too much. Um, and I'll just going to play out using. Um, I might use two flangers. How's that? Yes. Yeah, so I'm going to use a bit of Electric Mistress for the width, and then uh, the SK Note for a little bit more tone. So let's see how that goes, shall we? Um, so anyway, um, don't forget to subscribe uh, and um, we're going to be running a few more of these clone versus sim tests. So so keep an eye out on the channel um, and also start to look at doing some straight pedal tests. We've got loads of pedals, that we, you know, we've been dusting down and getting out of the, our kind of pedal bin uh, and some interesting st stuff there. So, you know, look out for that in the channel and we might even start getting some guitar tests and uh, and even possibly some tuition, maybe. So that's all from me, Neil, in wet, horrible Northampton, and we'll see you next time on Phase Drive Vlogs. Let's play you out. <laughs>